Hey guys, so Death Note. Another episode that I thought I, I actually talked about the last time when I talked about silence. And um, don't mind this, some sweet, sweet Naomi Misura ass there. Um, <laughs> don't worry, she's like 29 years old. She's, she's legal. Um, but I, I brought up this episode because of just how amazing it was as well. It really shows Light's ability to manipulate people. Um, I mean, he manipulates people left and right. He manipulates his family. He manipulates Misa. This person who was working at one point for the FBI, who worked under L um, in the, the Los Angeles BB murder and all that, you know, she worked with, with L with that. So this is not a stupid woman by any means. But she was so easily manipulated because of what she was going through because her fiance was killed by Kira. So this this woman who is supposedly very intelligent, who's able to find all this stuff about Kira by herself, thinking, okay, well, clearly Kira can kill with more than just heart attacks, that he can control the time and, and, and how the person dies and can kind of control them up at that point. Um, she figures all this out by herself. Uh, and Light is like, uh, I gotta take this chick out. So she, he, you know, they meet at the, at the previous episode, they meet at the, the police headquarters. And, um, he was just kind of there, just giving her, uh, bringing in a fresh change of clothes to his dad, uh, who hadn't been home yet. And, uh, he overhears her saying, oh, oh I've got information about the Kira case. And he's like, what? She has information about Kira? I need to know what this woman knows, you know? And then, so he plays, you know, stupid and says something about terrible with faces to the guy working there. And, um, you know, he's like, Oh yeah, my dad's in charge of the task force. And, uh, you know, he's kind of busy right now, I guess, cause he's not answering his phone or anything, but, uh, you know, we could, you know, if you want, you can just kind of chill with me for a little bit. And, uh, you know, when my dad is done, you know, I can call him and I can hand you the phone and you can talk to him. And uh, so they start walking, and she gives him a fake name because uh, he's like, oh, I've just realized that we've been talking all this time, and I don't even know your name. Uh, then he goes like, oh, my name is Light, you know, with Kanji and, you know, for this and blah, blah, blah. And she gives her name. And uh, Ryu kind of laughs because he can see that it's not actually her real name. Because, um, <laughs> again, Shinigami eyes. Um And he's like, oh, hey, yeah, you know, with all the information that you've given me, I think we should start investigating right now. So uh, let me pull out this piece of paper and a pencil and, um, you know, just tell me all the deets. You know, let me get the 411, get the down low. I want to know what you want to know. And uh, so she's like um, about like with Ray and all that and, you know, Spaceland and so he's repeating it back to her, what she's saying, as in like, oh, okay, let's just confirm. But in fact, he's writing down um, uh, commit suicide in such a way that nobody will be inconvenienced. So her name, the time, the date. Um, and of course, Ryuk starts laughing uh, right here because it's like he knows it's not going to work. Um, then we have this whole B plot with, Light, uh, with L, like, Oh, yes, I'm age. Uh, I'm pretty sure that everyone here is not Kira. And like, oh, I was afraid I was Kira there for a second, but you've proven that I'm not. Um, uh, but he gets Watery to come in and blah, blah, blah. Um, but here lights like, oh, yeah, in 10 more seconds and she'll be dead, but I can't see it. And I wish I could see it, how she dies, but I can't be, you know, I can't risk being seen with her right now. And. Um, and then the time hits and, uh, she, she doesn't die. And he's like, poop, poopy. Why isn't she dying? I've had no problem having people kill themselves in the past. So what's going on here? And then he's like, wait a minute. Ryuk, every time this chick's name has been brought up, he's been laughing hysterically. Uh, so he realizes like, ah, an alias. This bitch got me. 
Uh, and he's like, okay, well, what am I going to do to get over this? Um, so he kind of contemplates, you know, you know, uh, maybe I should attack her. But he's like, oh, no, but I can't do that. It's broad daylight. And quite frankly, even though this chick is vulnerable, she's in. she was in the FBI. I'm sure she's been trained. I'm sure she can defend herself if she needs to. Yes, light is strong. But not to mention if other people are around, guess what? They're going to jump in on the fun, too. Um, but he's like, oh, I've got to I've got to do something because we've got like five more minutes before we get to the task, uh, the headquarters and this and that. And Ryuk's like, hey, light, you know, you can still get the Shinigami eyes. And he's like, uh, do I really want to trade half my lifespan for Shinigami eyes? No. Don't even bring it up again. Just shut your mouth, Shinigami. <laughs> um, the whole sub, this whole sub, this subplot here with the IDs and badges. I mean, this never gets brought up again. You know, uh, I think their last name, like uh, Soichiro and uh, Light's last name is Asahi in, um, you know, on the badges, or at least for him. But it never gets brought up again. So it's like, okay. Um, but that's not the part we care about. The, this is the part we care about. This is what this is what makes the episode truly amazing. Um and uh you know he, he finally gets to the point of okay, I need to to find something, something I can have her latch onto to where I can get her open up and kind of you know, because like I can't just ask her her name. I can't. I already know that she's using a fake name. And if I go asking for her name, it's like, okay, one, she's going to know I know it's not a real name. And then if I'm asking for her real name, then she's going to know that I might possibly be Kira because Kira killed her fiance who, you know, had, you know, he was following people with the, the task force and this and that. So I was someone that they were tracking. So it's not going to take her long to realize that I'm Kira. So he's like, I got to go about this a different way. I have to manipulate her. And that's where Light's master manipulation skills comes in because he knows she's vulnerable. You know, she already says that she has really nothing left to live for because Ray's dead. Uh, but, um, you know, before he's like, oh, but you're young and beautiful and you have your whole life ahead of you. And it's like, dude, just stop. Just stop. Jerk off. But, um, Uh, they, L tells someone that someone needs to be over at the police headquarters, and you know, so so each was like, Izawa, I'm charging you with that for now, and he's like, okay, yes, sir, I'm on my way. Won't take me long to get there. Um, and uh, you know, they, they, they chit chat, and um, she's kind of like, oh yeah, you remind me of L, because you know, he's like, well. You're saying that you trust L, but why did you open up to me? And she's like, well, I'll be honest, because you just remind me of him. There's just something about you that reminds me of L, that they both manipulate people. Because L does. He manipulates people. Um, but he's like, oh, yeah, why don't you join the headquarter, the task force with us? I extend my hand to you. And she's like, what? You want me? And he's like, yeah, I mean, you're obviously a lot smarter than half of the brain dead people on this team. So, I mean, apart from L, uh, but we could clearly use you. I would love to learn from you. Uh, and Light is just kind of, you know, hamming it up. And Ryuk is like, <laughs> um, and you know, he gets to the point is like, okay, I've, I've come this far, you know, and, uh, He's like, okay, well, also, Isa was walking. That's important because, you know, he's like, oh, well, you know, we could really use you on the team. It's just, uh, you know, you have to have a recommendation from a current task member, uh, per, you know, someone currently on the task force and else permission and a, a valid uh, identification. And she's like, oh, about that. He's like, huh? What? What's wrong? And she's like, oh, well, the name I gave you was fake. 
And he's like, ha, I fucking knew it. He's like, oh, well, wow. I have to admit that you got me. You got me. You've been a few steps ahead of me this whole time. So, I mean, it just shows how capable you are. Uh, and then she's like, oh, well, uh, a, a Japanese I, uh, ID or driver's license, I think she says. Uh, will that work? He's like, sure. And uh, we get this moment of um, <laughs> this awesome drawing of Ryuk with his face like, ah. Um, and, and, and we get this. She's like, oh, I'm so sorry. And he's like, oh, it's perfectly fine. And we have Aizawa, who's walking. And he's taking the, the ID, and he's like, oh, yes. Yes, I'm practically creaming my pants right now. Um, and it starts to kind of snow. And, um, of course, Aizawa puts up his umbrella just as he's passing by, and he doesn't see L standing there. Or um, not L Light standing there with Misera, and so this is how he's able to get away with it. Because if Isa was just like, wait a minute, why was Light there? Let's see. Wait, this girl disappears. I remember Light standing there with her. They could have easily connected those two, but nope, no. He's got his umbrella up. Um, you know. And they show got her dry her um ID. Uh hit the time and all or the date, the suicide. January first, two thousand seven. I know. That was a while ago, right? And um I'll play this part because it's just too perfect. So, if you don't mind my asking, why do you keep checking your watch? Oh, well, I guess it's because... Because I'm Kira. just it's amazing the music the him standing there like what are you gonna do about it and then he goes on to taunt her what's the matter there's something i have to do hmm. my father's cell phone might be available now do you want to see if you can talk to him no thank just you. a douchebag then goodbye naomi misura it's so good. You know, it's like he shows her there's nothing she can do. And then just one final kick in the face. He's like, you want to talk to my dad now? It's just the music, the, 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 the shot of him staring at her and the, the eyes are red. Uh, her staring back with that basically like lifeless look in her eye now, realizing what's just happened, and then again the slap in the face. Like, you want to you want to talk to my dad? His his phone might be available now. You know, and is and he he does this all the time with people. You know, this the whole you know I'm gonna reveal who I am at the last second. The final episode, which I'll probably talk about next time, because God, if there was ever a masterpiece of a final episode, that would be it. Like, seriously, so much good stuff happens between the, 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 the dialogue, the music, just everything about the final episode is just. Um, but this episode really displays uh, his ability to manipulate considering again this is a woman who worked for the fbi and she was so easily manipulated with just a few kind words because you know she lost her fiance and she basically has nothing left to live for at this point so it's like oh well i'm gonna put my trust in this guy who says that he wants me on the task force not knowing that the guy is kira and 
you know, and, and, and she ends up paying the price for it. And, you know, it's like, oh, why do you keep looking at your watch? Oh, well, I guess it's because, because I'm Kira, you know? And it's like, what are you going to do about it? I've got you. I got you. Just like L. Of course, L comes after this, but same thing. He's looking down at L as L is dying, and he gets that shit-eating grin on his face, and it's like, yep, you were right, but what good does that do you now? Because you're dead. I've won. So, you know, L, uh, Light is constantly manipulating people, not as badly as, like, the manga version of him, where it's a lot worse. Um, and then when he dies, I mean, he goes out basically in the warehouse where he's like begging for his life. And Ryuk's like, nope. You know, he goes out begging for his life when it's like, well, why would anyone spare yours? You spent seven years taking out people. Did you ever think about, you know, sparing them? No, you killed them. So here you are groveling like a coward. You know, Mikami turns his back on him like, you're no god. Which, I mean, <laughs> should have done that in the anime, but the anime, a little, t just a tad bit different. But, um, yeah. Overcast. Such a good episode. The music. I could have handled, you know, none of that whole B line, the B plot with L and the task force and all that. If it was just an episode dedicated to these two, just walking and talking, that would have been, you know, just, but the final moments with the, him looking at his watch, the music, you see or the lack of music at first, you know, you see Aizawa put up his umbrella and you see, it's like, El, uh, light is right there. All he has to do is look up and he'll notice light standing right there. And then when Misera goes missing, it's like, wait a minute, but no, we had to have the, Thing keep going somehow because it would have been good. It wouldn't have been good for light if uh, Aizawa was like, "Oh yeah, I saw him with uh, Naomi Misura uh, like uh, the day she died or something." And it's like, "Oh, well, I guess Al was right. My son is Kira. Damn you, light. Damn you, light." Um, but the the, the stopping of the music, the the snow f slowly falling down, the looking at his watch. Her asking and him just finally revealing, I'm Kira, and that just the lifeless look in her eye, her eyes, and uh, just that that evil red eye thing that he gets when he, you know, when he's in Kira mode. Uh, the, the mocking her, you know, about, oh, my dad's cell phone might be available now. You know, it's just, it's perfect. And this is why I love Death Note so much. It is just a great anime. Again, 37 episodes. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. Um, next time I'll probably be talking about the, the final episode. Again, I'm not going in order. It's just kind of as I think about them. So just, uh, yeah. Let me know your favorite episode and what about it was so amazing. Apart from all of them being amazing. Um, but anyway, that's going to do for me. You guys know the drill. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.